गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन एंड यू आई एम ग्रेट आई एम ग्रेट थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग एंड सर वी आर मीटिंग फर्स्ट टाइम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ या ऑफ कोर्स सर एंड थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर गिविंग मी अ चांस टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ माय नेम इज रुपेश यादव एंड आई लिव इन उत्तर प्रदेश गोरखपुर सिटी and i have done my diploma fire and safety officer i am a i am safety officer as well as i am a part time youtuber sometimes i post video and my hobbies are reading books writing and playing cricket chess badminton so i love doing all of these things and this is that's all about me so please you can also introduce about yourself yes yes why not first of all thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself in front of you i am santanu das and right now also i am connecting from west bengal by profession i am working person i work in a hospital as an attendant and if i talk about my education qualification i have completed my graduation in mathematics subject and if i talk about my uh, hobbies i always like playing cricket and football apart from also i am running my one youtube channel whose name is english with sd that's all about me it is my short short introduction yeah Yeah, your introduction was fantastic, amazing, and I really appreciate you the way you speak and share about yourself. You are a part-time YouTuber. I really appreciate you, your efforts and hard work you are putting to make a YouTube channel and make a video. And thanks a lot, really. I appreciate you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, and sir, uh, you are working uh, as a safety officer. But uh, how long have you been working as a safety officer in fire? actually i have done my safety course the three month ago i was in a hyderabad high tech city i was doing my job there but due to some health condition i got a fever and my health condition was not good so i left and i come to, i came to home right now i am at my home and uh, i am planning to do yes yes right now so you are working person uh, you are doing a good job but in which purpose are you learning english what is the reason behind it please sir can you repeat can you ask me that question I, again yes yes i am asking to you why are you learning english what is the reason behind it yeah of course sir english is very important because in a safety field i realize that anywhere i go in a, into in the interview i have to speak a, a lot in english because sometimes they ask questions in english because hr are very educated they most of the question ask in english language and i realized that learning english opens more opportunity for us i th- feel about it and uh, in my life i also want to go out of our country so english is going to play a very important role so these are the main reason i am learning this language Yes, yes, you are right. Also, it is nice also, and you know English is an international language as well as the communication language to communicate each other, to communicate other country or people. English is necessary. English is useful language also. And right now, also you are from UP, you have your own native language, but I did not know properly uh, your uh, your native language. But uh, I have I belong to West Bengal. I have another native language. But after learning English, we are connecting each other. We are talking each other. Yeah, that's why also English is connecting language. And the, on the other hand, whenever you go to the interview for taking a good job in a multinational company, and the first of all the interviewer asks the question in English. Yeah, right now also English is very important for for taking a, any job. Yeah. Yeah, of course you are mentioning good point. You are saying that uh, we my state is different and your state is also different, and our native yes. language is also different. Still we are connecting to each other only because of English. Yeah, of course. You are mentioning great point. Yes, yes. And sir, uh, when did you start your English speaking journey? Actually, sir, when I have when I was studying class tenth, I was very weak in English, and that time I had a deep desire, burning desire to speak English. So I I joined an institute, and uh, I spent. Uh, Three month in a holiday of when we pass the class two with we get a two months of holiday. So I went uh, and I learn. That time I was not good. I was very hesitating. But uh, after that, um, when I got uh, access of social media and mobile and internet, 
I watched uh, lots of content on YouTube and I realized that day by day my English is improving. So there are many YouTubers who have helped me a lot to become a better speaker. Yes, yes, yes. And when you were starting in your school stint and at that time also your English was not good. Because I, I, I am, when I was starting in my school life, when I was starting class 8 and 9 and uh, that time my English was not good. Actually, there is a problem because when I was starting in my school life, that time also most of the students always take the subject uh, as a subject in English language. But uh, yeah. it is very wrong. But uh, to learn uh, to learn the language, always you have to take a uh, language. Yeah, English is a uh, language. Yeah, of course. And uh, we study in the Hindi language, so it was very tough for us to communicate in English. But 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 due to hard work and struggle, I have done it. Yes, yes. And when you were starting in your school life, that time also, uh, was your school in English medium? No, actually, I have done my education in a Hindi medium. Yes, yes. And Hindi, Hindi is your native language, yeah? Hindi, uh, yeah, Hindi is my native language and in Uttar Pradesh, Bhajpuri is spoken a lot, so we in the family we talk to each other in a Bhajpuri and in the school, in any organization, we speak in a Hindi. Yes, yes. And but uh, how many languages do you know? Actually, I speak only three languages, Bhajpuri, Hindi and English. Yes, yes. And you are, you are also speaking very well and do you have any members in your family who is speaking English? Yes. Yeah, of course, I have, I have many families because we are four brothers and uh, we are four brothers and uh, our parents and so we, I live with them. Yes, yes. And you have a four brothers, you have a lot of members in your family, but I am asking you one question. Do you have any, any members who is, will, who is speaking English at your home? Yeah, of course, little bit, my, little bit, my small brother is speaking English. He speaks a little bit. Oh, yes, yes. But uh, yes, I'm yes. In, my, in my family, I'm someone who speaks very well and fantastic. Yes, yes. And sir, you have told me before, uh, you have joined, you have, uh, you joined also a, a coaching center when I was starting in class. Ten and at that time also you joined uh, a coaching center for speaking English, yeah? Yeah, of course. Yes. And at that time in coaching center, uh, they are uh, they are teaching uh, how to uh, how to make a sentence in English, yeah? Yeah. First they was teaching me grammar because it's sure that with the, if you don't have the knowledge about grammar you can't speak english it's a sure so first they they were teaching me grammar and second they told me that you speak english as much as you can whenever you get a time so so i was getting very nervous that time when it came to speak english but right now i feel comfortable to speak english yes, yes. And sir, uh, right now, so you are using this application, but earlier, did you use another application for your speaking English? Yeah, there are, there are, were two applications. I, I used AI, chat GTP AI, and second CV, AC flu yes, CV, yes. yeah. So I rarely yes. use those applications. Most of the time I talk to myself, I speak in a mirror. I listen a lot of speeches. There are many great speakers, YouTubers who have helped me to speak English fantastic and amazing. And uh, yes, yes. I love, and as well as I want to tell you that I love listening about spiritual teachers. So there are three sp spiritual teachers. If you want to listen, I can mention their name. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, so the, my first spiritual teacher is Swami Mukundanan. So he is the first person when I started listening about him. And second was Gaur Gopal Das. And third, right now, he is my favorite Sadhguru. So these are three spiritual teachers yes. who, who have helped me a lot to speak fluently and confidently. Yeah, I have, I have, uh, I, I have watched many videos of Sadhguru yeah, on YouTube channel. 
Yeah, of course. That's great. You must do it. Yes, yes. yes. And sir, uh, uh, right now, so you, uh, when you when you started your English speaking journey, that at that time, what kind of method did you follow, and how did you how did you learn this beautiful language? Yeah, of course. There are actually that time I was reading because I was learning grammar. I was reading because that time there was one problem I was facing. I was not able to co collect to the right vocabulary to speak my sentence. So it was it was very tough for me. But uh, with the practice and with the consistency, I overcome everything. With practice, with the consistency and dedication, I overcome everything. Yes, I said you also like uh, reading uh, reading book. But what kind of book do you read for your improving English skill? Actually, sir, I love reading self help books. I have at least I have read thirty plus self help books. I have read Rich Dad Poor Dad, Think and Grow Rich, The Psychology of Money, How to Win Friends and Influence People. So these are books I have read. And I love reading because when I read, I find a new quote, sentences, ideas which help me a lot to live a sustainable and peaceful life. And they opens my mind in a better way. Uh, do you like uh, do you like English newspaper for your improving your vocabulary skill? Yeah, I actually I never read English newspaper because uh, I I had a book. That time, so I used to read books, and many people told me that you you need to read English newspaper in English so that you can improve. But uh, I never did it. Yeah, as a right now, so you are working person, and do you speak? Uh, do you speak in English in your office? Actually, when I talk to my senior, sometimes I speak because they come from different state, so. They come from Odisha. Yes. Someone comes from Hyderabad, Telangana. So they speak different language. So I sometimes I can't connect with them. So when I speak in a English, then I realize that I'm connecting with them. With the and to the workers, I have to speak in Hindi because you know very well that workers can't understand English well enough. So I speak with them in Hindi. Yeah. And uh, sir, uh, right now, so you are from UP, and Lucknow is the capital, yeah, of your state. Actually, Lucknow is the capital of my state. Yes, and sir. actually, sir, you, you yes. tell me, you belong to Gora, uh, you belong, uh, you belong to Gorakhpur. Yeah, I belong to Gorakhpur city. I think my district is Devariya. I live in a Devariya district. My city is Gorakhpur. Yes, yes. And sir, how far is your house from Lucknow? Lucknow, I think I don't have the exact number. I don't yes, yes. know. Yes, yes. And, and sir, sir, you have told. Yes, yes, yes. Ask me any question. Please speak about your state because you come from West Bengal. So share me some valuable information about West Bengal so that. I can also know about West Bengal. Which language do you speak? Yes, yes, definitely. Actually, I belong to West Bengal, and my native language is Bengali. Yeah, and most of the people are always speak in Bengali. Bengali is my native language, and but I know three languages: uh, Bengali, and uh, I know Hindi a little bit. And right now, also after learning English, also I am being able to speak English a little bit. Yeah, I know three languages. And uh, if I talk about my uh, famous place in West Bengal, there are many famous places. In Kolkata, uh, Kolkata also there are many tourist places. Uh, Howrah Beach, do you know Howrah Beach? It is famous. Actually, yeah, there I is know. no pillar. There is yeah, no pillar in this beach. Yeah, yeah it is famous. And uh, Victoria Memorial uh, and uh, Alipur Zoo and this may, many kinds of places are famous in the uh, Kolkata. And if I talk about okay. my uh, tourist place, uh, I have to go. Uh, you have to go to uh, in the north side, Darjeeling. Darjeeling is the tourist place. Yeah. And uh, if I uh, if I ask me the historical place, and you have to uh, you have to go to the Musibat district. There are a lot of uh, historical places are available in the uh, Musibat district. Yeah. Yeah, of course you have mentioned many historical places where we go for a traveling. We can go, and actually. 
I only I was knowing about the Howrah pool because my grandfather has told me about it because he lived in a Kolkata. So it was good to know many places about the West Bengal. Yes, the Howrah beach. It is made. Uh, it is made in in nineteen forty two. Yeah, nineteen. And sir, are you married? Yes. Yes, I, I am married, and there are four members in my family. Uh, my wife, uh, I, my mother, my wife, one of the kids is my daughter, and me. Okay, yeah. yeah and you have done twelve plus. Yes, I have. Uh, actually, I have completed my graduation in mathematics subject. Yeah. Yeah, you are graduate. In mathematics, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. I think then you know very well. You know a lot about math because math is yeah, math yeah. was also. And do you know that I want to tell you that math was also my favorite when I was studying in eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, yes. Actually, I always like teaching. And when I was studying in college, at the same time I was teaching in my home as if I were tutor. In mathematics subject, and there are uh, there are hundred twenty students in a six batch. Yeah, I always like mathematics subject, and I always yeah. like teaching. You are studying as well as you are teaching the students. Really, it means uh, you had a great knowledge about that subject. Yes, yes, yes. And sir, you uh, before also yeah, uh, you also like uh, playing cricket, yeah? Yeah, I love I love playing cricket. But do you do you play cricket? I know. That is, yeah, yesterday I played cricket, and today it's raining. So right now I'm not playing. I'm talking to you. But in the in the evening, I think that I will play the cricket. Yes, yes. And sir, right now, so what is your goal? Actually, sir, I want to be a good content creator. I want to speak English better, as well as I want to do my job, and I want to do both work. And what is a Goal, and I realize that I have not made any clear goal. What is the one thing I want to do my whole life? So I love the process. Do you know that life is all about experimenting new things and finding out which one is working for you and which one is not. So I have tried many things in my life, and right now I realize that English is going to be a new career for me. So if I will become a good YouTuber. Then I can open any institute. I can open any coaching center. It depends on the situation. I'm not sure about what will happen. But when I will become a good YouTuber, it's sure that I'm going to open an institute or a coaching center. Yes, yes. And sir, you have a YouTube channel. But when did? Uh, how long have you been running your YouTube channel? Actually, it's going to be a two month because I have posted thirty videos. I. Actually, I didn't get a time to make a video, but right now I'm posting shorts video as well as long video. I'm not very serious about making video. Once I get a serious, then it will be become good for me to start creating more videos. Yes, yes. And sir, do you like traveling? Yeah, I love traveling, but uh, I have never visited any uh, any historical places. I have a desire to visit, to travel, but uh, I have not done it. And have you visited any other state in our country apart yeah, from UP? Course. Yeah, of course. Once I went to the first time, I go out from my state. That time I went to Haryana in a Gurukul, and second I went to Telangana, Hyderabad. So there are two places I have visited, and I have spent some time, some time there. Yes, but sir, in in which purpose did you go there? Actually, I went to Telangana to do my job to make money, and I went to Hyderabad to stay in a Gurukul and learn about many things about our culture. About our country, about our sense. Though there was there was a region I went to ha Haryana. Yes, yes. And did you go there alone or with uh, with your family? Alone, alone. Yes. And sir, right now, so what do you do in your spare time? Actually, sir, I play chess. I and I spend time with my friends. So this is something I love. 
and uh, really i like it because spending time with someone who is very dear to me it can be anyone friends family brother anyone i i love spending time with someone who is dear to me and sometimes i read i write i do the journaling i write in a diary what are the things i want to do what is happening with myself how i feeling so little bit i write about all of these things yeah yeah all right sir we are talking uh, after 20 minutes it is a nice conversation also yeah with you all right sir thank you for giving your valuable time all right nice to meet you take care bye bye have a good day yeah of course sir i am also feeling good to talk to you because you are a nice person and intellectual person and i really appreciate you and thanks a lot thanks thank you thank you thank you sir